know, he was such a humble man. He, he never would talk about me as the first uh, African-American who did my PhD here, who served as faculty member, who was chair of a department, never. Full scholarship to Springfield College in the mid-1930s, unique in its own right, in the service, return here to, to get his PhD in the medical sciences, and then establish his own prominent track record in research, but always cultivating students, cultivating young faculty behind himself. And he was very much somebody who wanted to be proactive about the opportunity that was offered to other people in minorities, very much so. It was really the medical people who were very strongly opposed to bringing in the African-American um, uh, students to the medical school. Uh, with the argument being that we were going to bring uh, people who were not qualified to, to the medical school. And I remember there was a, a very serious debate. Some people were very upset or tried to water it down. And Harold stood up and very gently responded very differently. And that sort of turned, the, well, to some extent, turned the tide in the discussions. He was the most wonderful gentleman, a civilized human being that had, uh, that had a great heart, and his heart was in the right place. He was in so many ways and uh, another extraordinary pers person, personages within the history of Harvard Medicine, a professor's professor, uh, somebody who was also kind, committed, a researcher, uh, an insightful individual, uh, forever looking out for students. So all of his extraordinary life, uh, he was called a jewel, a jewel in this world. It's uh, very important that whoever gives the award makes sure that the recipient knows who Harold was. He was a great human, and you can be absolutely honored by the fact that this great human is the name of the award that you receive and, and I would hope that you can, regardless of who you are, you can try to emulate that humanity.